Ah, UFC 194 was brought to you today by the number 13 and the letter U for you just got knocked the fuck out. Hello everyone, for those of you who don't know, my name is Jack Sowerful and usually I do professional wrestling videos and I can see every MMA fan is rolling his eyes at me right now. But I want to talk about something different. I was going to do this um, with... Um, Holly Holmes and Ronda Rousey when Holly when Ronda got the shit kicked out of her by Holly Holm. But I didn't. I looking back I probably should have, but I don't know why I didn't do it. Because I, I thought it was a very fun show. And I saw the last bit of UFC one nine four and this is just gonna be like my reaction, my thoughts on it, and just me spitballing pretty much. Um this was actually suggested to me by one of my best friends in the whole world. Jacob Weiss, if you're watching this, which I hope you are, how you doing, mate? Um, and he wanted me to talk about UFC 194, so I thought, fuck, all right, let's go. So um, I might as well talk about the big match that everyone's talking about, the main event between, is it Jose Aldo or was it Jose Aldo? I don't know. Taking on the Irish lad, Conor McGregor. Um, I believe that was supposed to have this fight... Um, was it at UFC 193 or something else? Um, no, they, they were going to have it previously, but um, Jose Aldo got injured or whatever, and so Connor had to face someone else, and he became the interim champion. I believe that's what happened. And, um, yeah, these two went together for UFC 194. And, um, yeah, it was a quick one, let's just say that. So Connor McGregor, I think he, w he was my favourite to win anyway. So Connor comes out, and this whole build-up between them, Connor was such a fantastic bad guy going into this. He was just taunting Jose Aldo, saying, I'm going to kick your ass, you motherfucker, and all that kind of stuff. Just taunting him and getting in his face, and he's so fucking entertaining. He is a better Irish heel than Seamus is, and I'm going to rant on Seamus probably tomorrow in my Tables, Ladders, and Chairs review. But, man, Connor came out. And then um, Jose Aldo came out, and pretty much, let's just say how quick this fight was, the entrances were longer than the fight. Because literally, I can describe to you word for word what happened. So, um, Bruce Buffer, I'm pretty sure that's his name, that's the name of the announcer, I don't want to fuck anything up. And so he's building up, ladies and gentlemen, it's time and just the build ups like holy shit holy shit and you get really fucking invested in it and so Connor and Jose they're facing off Connor's like doing a bit of taunting you know doing a bit of this and all it takes one punch and so Jose may have looked the other way boom Connor hits him and I think um jo Jose got a hit on him as well but he ended up falling to the ground it was too late that punch Boom, got him down onto the ground. And Conor McGregor is the new UFC featherweight champion. Holy shit, that was, I did not see that coming. When I saw him just knock out Aldo in like 13 fucking seconds, like, oh my god. That was like quicker than Rousey's fight with that bitch who was um, taunting her. I think that was like 14 seconds, now it's a second later. 13 seconds. That was crazy. Now, if I wasn't really invested in UFC, I'd probably go, Oh no, 13 seconds, what a waste of a main event. But, before that, we got, um, what's his name, the kind who knocked down Anson Silva, I believe, Chris Weidman, Chris Weidman took on Luke Rockhold, sorry about that. Um, that little weird pause I did. And so, yeah, Chris Weidman took on Luke Rockhold for the UFC um, middleweight championship. Am I correct? Yes, I am. And um, th from what I saw, I think I saw, like, the start from the second round. It was a really, really good fight. I mean, you know, Weidman was pretty good. Rock Rockhold was pretty good. Um, in the third round... I believe um, Rockhold got uh, Weidman onto the ground and he just fucking unleashed on him. Just elbows, punches, Weidman gets busted open, blood's pouring out of his head. And there's like only a few seconds left of the fight. So you're like, and you're thinking to yourself, is Chris going to go through with, 
is he going to get through this next round? Because he can be out of it in just a couple of seconds, and he unleashes and unleashes, and Weidman's trying to like cover up his face and all that. There's only a few seconds left. He manages to escape round three, and you're like, oh, shit. Like, Jesus. And then we get to the fourth round, and pretty much the same thing happens, except he gets him like near to the one of the sides of the octagon, and he just beats the shit out of him. Weidman, he's trying to cover up, but eventually, Rock, Rockhold ends up getting them. Weidman can't take it anymore. And Luke Rockhold is the new middleweight champion. Holy shit, that, that was a really good fucking fight. Like, Jesus Christ. Just, you are on the edge of your seat during that. Just like, oh my god. Just throughout the whole thing, I was like that through round three and four. And when he finally knocked out. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And even Chris Weidman admitted like it was a dumb move. Um, I'm in the post show in the post match interviews, whatever, with um Joe Rogan. So um yeah, some other matches that took place on the main card was um a middleweight fight. Um uh, was it Yo Romero beat Ronaldo Souza and that was to um a decision split, um by a judge's decision. Uh we had Another welterweight fight between Damien, is it Damien Meyer? And he beat Gunnar Nelson. Uh, it was an unumious decision. Um, and then won. We had another unumious decision when Max Holloway beat Jeremy Steffens for the, you know, featherweight fight. So, um, yeah, I didn't watch the, uh, three fights. Um, if they're any good, tell me down below. But, um, from the last two fights I saw... One of them was really fucking good and brutal as shit to watch. Other one was just surprising as hell. So, yeah, I, for the last hour of UFC 194, I really, really enjoyed. Um, so, yeah, this is not a review by any means. It's just my reactions, my what do I think of the show and all that. So, um, yeah, what did you guys um, think? I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to give a like if you did. Um, comment down below what you thought of UFC 194. And um, I believe the next UFC uh, 195 event, I believe, it's um, Robbie Lawler taking on Condit, um, Carlos Condit in the main event for the Welterweight Championship. Um, so, yeah, that looks interesting. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see more from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, I've got a, if you're into pro wrestling, which I'm hoping you are, but if you're an MMA fan, you probably don't. Um, I've got a Tables, Ladders and Chairs 2015 review coming tomorrow, hopefully right after the pay-per-view ends, but knowing me, I'll probably wait a couple of hours until um, I get it all sunk in and I'm ready to get my feelings. Uh, don't expect a raw review, I might do something different, and of course the 2K16 showcase mode and the... Lego Star Wars Complete Saga series will probably keep continuing to go. Um, thank you so much for watching. My, by the way, my Twitter and Instagram is at JackamanLaw31 if you want to follow me on those social media sites. Thank you so much for watching. You guys kick ass, and I'm out in 3, 2, 1.